Thanks for joining us at 10. I'm Richard Ransom. Smash and grab burglars are at it again, showing one more time why it's become such a popular way to steal lately. The bad guy's favorite targets are liquor stores and jewelry stores. They go in as a group, they get in, they get out, knowing it'll be very hard for police to catch them. Tonight, a jewelry store owner near Wolf Chase Galleria is the latest small business owner asking what can be done to stop these crimes. David Weimer woke up at 3 a.m. and he knew right away what it was. His Weimer's jewelry store and gifts in the Wolf Chase area was being burglarized and there was nothing he could do. It took him five minutes to get in and leave. They shattered six showcases, they took some sterling silver, and they left. Took, oh, wait a minute. They took the cash register. at $60 in it. The four thieves pulled up, broke into his store, broke glass cases, one even hopping over the counter holding the register. Weimer says he knew it was a matter of time before he would be the next victim of a smash and grab. But you know, it's just it, like every other jeweler in town who's been hit. It was my turn. And we have taken the, the we look out for our stuff, all the stuff that was in my showcase. He's most frustrated that the young adults aren't finding ways to contribute to society rather than contribute to the city's crime problem. I hope they find a job, hope they get their lives together. Hope their mom and daddy grab them by the nap of the neck and say, you're going to work. But despite the headache, Weimer says it was heartwarming to see how people reached out to help. You, you just don't know how you're going to get over it. Then your employees, your family show up. They take care of that. They clean up. Your friends come in. They help you clean up. I love it. Weimer told us he plans to reopen his store as soon as he can.